What's up everybody, I'm Abitage, and I'm here to have a quick look at a small update that came out for Assault Android Cactus, as well as a little look at Aubergine, the new character, because I've been playing around with her a bit more, and getting used to the controls and that sort of thing, so <clears throat> let's check her out. I'm kind of enjoying Centrifuge at the moment, even though, yeah, let's do Centrifuge. So basically the small improvements they made were more animations like that intro and stuff for Aubergine. At least I think the intro because I don't remember it being there before. And they put in new music for World 4. Oop. And I'm not concentrating properly. Lockdown enemies are now dragged by Aubergine Secondary which is that one. So they'll get dragged into it even if they are locked down like this. See, they're all moving. Cool. Uh, Hilo, which is the little spinning droid. Apparently, their attacks are more consistent now. Not sure what that means, but there must have been some inconsistency before. And enemies dim when they're destroyed like that. And there's also DualShock 4 control support for OS X and Linux as well as bug fixes and that sort of thing. But that's about it. So, you know, just a small update. But I also wanted to just have a quick little chat about Aubergine because she's taken me a little while to get used to but I kind of feel like I'm getting the idea now. She's very much a character that you want to have leveled up because it seems like she's pretty useless at like this level, or at least she, yeah. But I guess she's as useless as any other weapon that you might get on any other character because they're all pretty useless when they're at lower levels. Oh shit, 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 shit. But um, it's interesting. I've I've seen some other people playing her now and. That sort of thing, and people have different ways of playing Aubergine. Which I think is cool, because the fact that you can... <laughs> that's alright. <laughs> but anyway, so I generally point in the direction I want her to go, and just kind of... Hold down and let go the trigger button to kind of push her away from me, and kind of try and hold her in the same position over an enemy. That's generally how I roll with, with the old aubergine, whereas other people will hold down the trigger button and just point in different directions to get it to move around, which is kind of interesting as well to me because it seems completely counterintuitive, like I'm trying to do it right now, but yeah, <laughs> it just feels wrong to be facing the direction away from what you're trying to shoot. But that's cool, that seems to be working for people, so rock and roll. It's nice that it's a character that you can kind of do that with. You can play however you want to play in that sense. And I mean, come on, this is a pretty unique character for a shooter to have. Because it's not all guns and just holding down trigger and aiming kind of deal. I've got to remember to use my secondaries more. I feel like that's something that holds me back <laughs> when it comes to playing this game. Should be sp spamming the secondaries a lot more. But that's cool. It's all a bit of a learning experience. Oh. But I don't know if you saw, if you've seen my other videos where I've played as Aubergine video, I guess there's only really been one. But it certainly is a different story when you start getting used to how she plays. Or how she can play, I guess, because she can play a few different ways. Um, because 
initially I was just all over the show and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But now I feel like I'm getting more of a grasp and it's not as confusing to, uh, to play her. Which is nice. Let's see how she goes on checkpoint, actually. I haven't even thought of trying her on there. But I quite like her, especially when there's, like, lines of enemies or groups. Kind of like this. Especially when you can get in there like that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Although, keeping chains going with Aubergine seems to be a real problem for me at the moment. Oh, God, I hate those guys. <laughs> and I do sometimes pop the secondary by mistake. Like, just then, when I did it before, it was... I didn't intend to do that. I just kind of... happened to do it by mistake. <laughs> and I think because I, I am just holding my, my finger over the trigger a little bit too close, and if I tap it, even the slightest, it fires it off. But that's cool, that's more my own incompetence than anything else. <laughs> But this, this is kind of why I like Aubergine, because you can kind of slowly get head through lines of enemies and just kind of murder them all fairly quickly. It's kind of like focus firing, I guess. Especially with these big dudes, like... Considering how much of a pain in the ass they can be, I'm feeling like I'm doing alright with them at the moment. Perhaps this level is not bad for old Aubergine. I've found that I tend to favour different characters on different levels, depending on how that level is set up and how it plays. Because as you know about this game, if you've got to play it to the level and to the character, it's not just as simple as getting in and having the same strategy for everything. Which is one of the things I really like about it. I mean, really, how could you not like that about it? Oh no! I was doing so well. But I guess this video is more intended to be kind of a visual thing, as in... Now that I'm more used to Aubergine, I thought I'd just show off kind of... Ah, how she plays a bit better, because I feel like the first time I looked at her, I had no idea and didn't really do a good didn't do a good represent representation of what she can do and that wasn't bad considering I died two times <laughs> still got a B on that which I'm I'm happy with this is one of those games where I'm not very good at it but I'm happy with any little bit of success so I'm cool with that <laughs> but yeah that's just my little update video and a little look at Aubergine and I'll, I'll be doing some more in in the future as well uh, as I try to improve my scores. I'll probably leave out the, the attempts that I just suck at because it, I feel like I really need to be in the zone for this game. And sometimes I'm just completely off. Like I was playing just last night and sucking hard. <laughs> but that's cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.